look at that. You too put a free album on my phone. How do I get an album off my phone? <laughs> Where the hell are you? I got stuck at the airport. You haven't Ooh. left yet? No, I told a TSA agent my underwear was the bomb. Why would you tell him your underwear's a bomb? No, I didn't say it was a bomb. I said it was the bomb. Now I can't go. Don't worry, I'm sending a liaison. All right, but send them quick. We just got some new information. You remember Miss Nesbitt? Ho, 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 How could I forget? Yeah, well, she's sleeping with some high-ranking officer's son. God, I love that dirty, dirty whore. Next time you see her, swat her on the ass for me. No, I refuse to do that. I'm your superior officer. I command you to do that. That. <sighs> and if a finger or two slips in there, you let it happen. In where? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Just send you a replacement quick. Oh, don't worry. That bitch tornado is headed your way. What did you just say? Gotta go! I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't say anything. Well, it sounds like you said something. No! You bitch tornado. Try not to asphyxiate yourself in a closet this weekend. It was one time and I only came close. Oh, you came all right. God, I love you. When the canary's away, the cats will play. <laughs> Hey! Hey! Loose, wait up! What up, buddy? How was your weekend? It was a constant reminder of my failure in shame! Mine was good, too! I googled the term snuff film in the school's computer lab. That's awesome! I refused to put- Lou! Tell me you guys saw it! Saw so what? There was a naked lady on the internet! You are so goddamn stupid. No! This one was famous! For what? For being naked! So goddamn stupid. Uh, that's called porn, buddy. It's been there since... forever. Don't try and reason with him, Suzaku. Just ignore him. Maybe he'll go away. Listen to me! She was naked! That's what happened! Naked! Fame! He's still here! I can see that, Suzaku! Okay, bye. No, dick! Wanna try my motorcycle? Kill yourself! Natalie, Natalie! Watch me do a somersault! Huh? <laughs> Hello, Lelouch. Bet you didn't expect to hear from me again. You've probably already guessed it, but somebody very close to you- Not now, Mao! Natalie's gone missing! He was gone missing recently, haven't- What the fuck? He hung up on me! Hello? Hey, what's up? I need your help. Can you come here? Uh, I can't. I'm buying clothes. Alright, well hurry up and come over here. Well, I can't find them. What do you mean you can't find them? I can't find them. There's only soup. What do you mean there's only soup? It means there's only soup! Well then get out of this soup aisle! Alright, you don't have to shout at me! There's more soup! What do you mean there's more soup? There's just more soup! Go into the next aisle! There's still soup! Where are you right now? I'm at soup! What do you mean you're at soup? I mean I'm at soup! What store are you in? I'm at the soup store! Why are you buying clothes at the soup store? Fuck you! I feel like this is gonna take longer than I anticipated. You better be careful now. My brother's coming for me. I have to find Natalie! And when he wants something, he doesn't stop until he gets it. Natalie, are you in here? Oh my god, go away! No! Oh, don't worry. All I want to do is play a little game, Natalie. Well then, prepare to lose, Mal. Natalie! My brother may be an idiot, but when he puts his mind to it, he can be super focused and deadly dedicated. I am so fucked, aren't I? Yeah, Natalie! Natalie! What the fuck? Hey, Suzaku! How did you get here so quick? Huh. That is a good question. I don't know. You're still an idiot, but I'm glad to see you. I could use your help. I'm trying to track down Nonnelly. Hey! Want my help? What's with that thing on your face? It's a recorder. I'm trying to take notes on every location I've looked so far. Speaking of which, 1.27 p.m. Check council room. Nonnelly not here. Side note, avoid touching the edges of the table. What's he talking about? <laughs> All right, this is taking way too goddamn long. Not only I'm gonna go try and find him. If you get bored, there's a portable DVD player at your feet. It's got the entirety of the Big Bang series on autoplay. Wait, did you hear that? Oh my God, it was the mole people. Mole people took Nanali. Was it mole people, you idiot? It was worms. Worms? Yeah, think about it. Picture Nanali. Okay. Picture some worms. Okay. There you go. Look, you can even see it. They left a trail. I think that's the asphalt. No. It's worm trail. I don't think so. Mm. What would mo people even look like anyway? I don't know. Look them up on like Pinterest or something. Pinterest? No, no, no. I'm not an adolescent white girl, and I'm not retarded. <coughs> Instead, we'll ask the elevator. 
Hang on, I forgot my pin. Nine, 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 uh, nine. Access granted. Bingo! Computer, do mole people exist? No. However, a heat signature has been detected in the sewers. Computer, obtain the heat signature and bring it to me. I'm afraid I can't do that, Lelouch. I am an elevator. I can go up and down. Ah, but can you go up? Computer, play Kenny Loggins' greatest hits. Lelouch, wait! What is that? That is a motion-activated sentry gun. Whoever took Nonalee must have placed it down here! Nah, that's the school. Every two weeks they send a janitor here to get mowed down right before payday. That's horrible! Eh, they're trying to cut down on tuition costs. But they're still so high. I mean, yeah, you know how expensive it is to fire one of those things? So... They save money by killing janitors, but waste money when they kill the janitors. Uh... Well... Huh. Maybe they just really hate janitors. Yeah, or maybe private schooling just hates low-income families. Yeah, suck it, private schooling! We go to private schooling. I know, they can still suck it. Anyway, what are we gonna do about the turret? Um... I'm gonna kick it. That is a terrible idea. Too bad, cause I'm doing it. <laughs> oh my god, he kicked it. Threat eliminated! All right. I was cool with the immortal witch premise. I was cool with the magic glowy eye powers. I was cool with Nina humping the table. But that, that was fucking stupid. Come on, let's go find Nunnally. Belouche, wait! What is that? Looks like a bomb with another motion sensor on it. If we get too close, Nunnally's head will explode. And that's a bad thing. Yeah. If only there was some way we could get in close and disarm it. Actually, your little stunt back there gave me an idea. That swinging pendulum is clearly the motion detector. If someone could match the same speed and trajectory as the pendulum, they might be able to disarm the bomb in midair. And seeing as how you just kicked a fucking turret off the ceiling- I'm not doing it. That would be sexist. Come again? This right here, this situation, this is the damsel in distress trope. And I am not about to contribute to it. Look, while I agree that trope is horrible, in this particular situation, I need you to do this. We're running out of time. No, it'd be against my moral compass. Your fucking moral compass is a roulette wheel! Suzaku, I know what you mean, but this isn't the time for that. I'm sorry, Nanali, I can't do it. Look, she's already in this situation. We have to pull her out of it. What if we pretended like she was just a crippled person? That's denying her her sexual identity! Nonely, you do identify as a female, right? Yeah, and I understand. Sometimes in our culture, things are ridiculous. <laughs> but just face it, situation is situation. I'm sorry! I can't do it! Oh, God! Think about it from my perspective! What do you see up there? My sister! And she's in trouble! Well, I see a handy, capable girl. Sure, life's beating her down a little bit, but that's not gonna stop her. Nothing's gonna stop her. She could be president of the world one day. NOT IF HER HEAD EXPLODES! Ah, ah, ah. There you are. Took you long enough. Are you finally ready to play my game? No, man! Whoa, what happened to you? I was trying to save Nanali from a bomb. Why was Nanali near a bomb? Somebody took her and put her in the sewers. And then Suzaku wouldn't kick the bomb, so I just started cutting wires. And then one of the circuit breakers tripped and blew up in my face. I'm not even sure if the pendulum bomb is still activated. Pendulum bomb? That was a monitoring system that deployed anti-worm measures. I brought her down there for the end of our scavenger hunt I was gonna play with you later. I was gonna teach you about holding on to your loved ones. It was gonna be a nice little interactive life lesson. Why would you assume it was a bomb? Are you stupid? Fuck you, nigga! Alright, first of all, only I'm allowed to say that. And second of all, I set up this whole day so I could teach you a lesson about keeping your loved ones close and enjoying yourself. Instead, you almost unironically put your sister in more danger than I did! Two things right back at you. One, you're not allowed to say that. You're so Caucasian, your hair is white. And two, if you're so innocent, why the hell did you tie her up down there? A, yes I can say that, I'm a black albino. And B, I didn't want her to fall out of her chair! You're a black albino! But die! <laughs> Hold it right there! You're under arrest! That's it! You people are crazy! I'm out of here! Oh no, not you right now, no! I found him.
Who's, Who's this fucker? fucker? Uh-oh. 